means when your leads are signing up for your emails, they will receive a confirmation email to confirm their subscription that they want to be in your email list. It's important because it means that they really want to receive your emails, which leads to better engagement, better deliverability of emails, and that you are maintaining the anti-spam regulations properly. In MailMint, you can easily set up double opt-in emails. And in today's video, I'll show you how you can do it. So let's get started. So double opt-in is basically available in both MailMint free and pro version. So if you're using the MailMint free version, you can easily set up double opt-in from the settings module. For that, you have to go to settings and then you can see that there's an option called double opt-in settings. There you have to click and you can see that there is an enable option for the double opt-in. So if you enable this, you'll see that you can uh, write the email subject line, the email body, and you can select which page you want to take your users once they confirm their subscription to be on your email list. So here you can see that you can also uh, write the double opt-in email however you want. And you can see that there are two options here for the action after confirmation tape and you can see there is another option here which is action after confirmation so here you can select which page you want your users to go to after they have confirmed your subscription right so what you can do is you can uh, redirect them to the default page that's set up here which is the mailment opt-in confirmation or you can redirect them to an external url uh, maybe a page but which you have created uh, where you want your users to go after they've uh, confirmed to be on your email list so once i uh, set up everything here what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on save settings so if i do that the whole double opt-in settings will be saved i'm not changing anything here i'm just going to go ahead and show you how this works so if i go to contacts you'll see that currently i don't have any contacts here what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on new contact and i'm going to give an email address here so let's say then i'm going to insert my name which is Bila, and then i'm going to give the subscription status as pending so if i do that everything is here done i'm just going to go ahead and click on save and you can see that nabila at getwpfunnels.com has been added to my email list. So as you can see that the status is in pending. Uh, so I should be getting a double opt-in email under this email address, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead to my email tab, which I have opened just to show you guys. So let's go to the email tab and you'll see that a confirming subscription email has arrived here right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that and you can see the email which is default uh, the setup in mailment has appeared here and here I can click this link to confirm my subscription in my email list so if I click here it will take me to the default opt-in page that uh, is already set up in MailMint and it's saying that subscription confirmed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my contacts and do a little refresh. And you can see that nabilatgetwpfunnels.com has been subscribed to my email list. So this is how basically double opt-in works and I hope you guys will be able to use it easily from now on. So that's it for today. I'll see you in my next video.